In this video, we're going to look at the complementary counting system. Sometimes it's easy to find out the ways that things cannot occur, number of possibilities, as to finding out how many ways it can. If we let the universal set be the number of ways that an event can happen, and then what we want to have as a result would be A, and then what we don't want would be what we call the complement of A. So let's look at the problem here. We have coins being tossed in the air, five coins. What's the universal set? What's the number of ways this can happen? It would be two heads or tails, five possible things. There's a 32 possible ways this could occur. Now, we want to find at least two heads. That's my result. Let's go ahead and find the complement of that. Not at least two heads. It means there's zero heads or there's one head. Let's see if we can find this out a little bit easier. Well, how many ways could you have zero heads? One way. And how many ways could you have just one head? There's five ways to have one head. So there's a total of six ways for it not to work. So we'll take the universal set, and from that we will subtract the complement, the number of ways that it won't happen. So 32 minus 6 equals 26. So there is the ways that it could happen. 26 ways I could get at least two heads out of five coins being tossed. Hope this helps you with the complementary counting system. And as always, have a very happy day.